Hi, it's me, Bam, and welcome back, or welcome to the channel. Now, today we are going to talk about all mods. All mods, in case you guys don't know, I think I'm saying it right, are Requiem mods. Requiem mods, in case you guys don't know, are mods that are used to take down a Kuba Lich or a sister of Parvos. So if we go in here, um, you can see the three. Um, this is, that's a bit embarrassing that that's like that. As you can see, you can have multiple ore mods in the old inventory, but you can only equipped one per session. There's a reason why you'd want to even equipped one. And that is because all mods are wild cards essentially. So if you have an all mod, you don't need to guess for that one slot. Like if I have this all mod at the beginning, that will automatically be filled out. And then, you know, I'd still have to guess for the second or third. All mods are wild cards. Now, I always personally like them sort of, you know, in the end. Because, you know, I want to be like, oh, I get the first two, but maybe I don't feel like getting the third one type thing. That's what I like to do there. And you need, of course, the right combination to kill your Kuba Lich or your sister Parvos. And the uh, Ulmod acting as a wild card can help with that. As you can see, it functions just like any other mod does. It has three charges on it. And once the charges go away, it becomes defiled, just like any of the other mods do. Now, there are two ways to get all mods in the game, okay? Two, yes, you heard me right. You can't get them from, you know, relics, from Requiem relics, like normal. There's only two ways, and those two ways are there's a 25% chance for them to drop from a Kuva Lich or a Sister of Parvos when you defeat them, or the second way is transmutation. Now, um, it's best if I show you guys what I mean by transmutation. Um, okay, I don't have enough to show you guys. Okay. But basically what would happen if I had four defiled mods here, what I could do is I could select all four of them and then, you know, transmute them into a brand new mod. Now, if I, like I said, if I had a fourth one, here, I would go ahead and do it. You know what? Uh, nah, I'm, I was going to say I'll go ahead and do this one. But honestly, I just kind of don't want to waste it at this point in time. Um, but yeah, that's what I would do. You know what? Screw it. For you guys, okay? For you guys, I'm doing this. Transmute. Yes. And then, an oh, okay. <laughs> well, you won't always get an all, okay? This, I'm pretty sure you won't always get an all. I was just lucky with that. But yeah, that goes to show you, that's how you get the all mod in Warframe. And yeah, honestly, that's, all I got for you guys, I just wanted to let you guys know what an old mod was, how to get an old mod, 
and let me know in the comment section below do you guys still hunt sister de parvos or a kuba lich do you guys need any more weapons from kuba liches if you have all the weapons are you upset with the idea of getting you know like the max amount of elements with the kuba weapons do or the um sisters of pavos weapons you know the tenant weapons let me know all that comment section below and yeah with that said i will catch you guys in the future later